Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around, everything you need to know about the punches and potions update we just got, and mostly focusing on the two professions because there was some added a little bit of stuff here, but the most important thing is the new two new professions that we did uh, get the uh, buff alchemy thing and then also of course the ninja the martial arts as well and actually kind of funny because i thought that the uh, alchemist one it was going to be the easier one and then actually the martial artist was going to be the harder one to kind of understand but it actually is the other way around so i have made timestamps for the two professions if you want to know specifically for one or the other or you just want to go back and forth and listen to it once again i will be making videos and they will be linked in the description when they come out the two videos for the professions how you're easily going to max it out uh, for these two professions but i do want to make a sort of a spoiler alert that these two professions are not like the other ones we are used to where you could just gather all the materials and just like kind of do it all in once you do have to do it a little bit over time sort in a way and i think that's the best approach to it but you can of course grind it out if you want to but it's not as straightforward as the other professions are where you just like sort of <laughs> just go on the marketplace and you buy the things that you need and then you go through the different steps they did try to do that with the 250 to 300 on the professions the old professions but they have since then evolved a lot on the professions so you're not something you just grind out in like 10 minutes and just buy everything and then you're done and i think that's super amazing i think it's great that it's something that can take a long time or takes a lot of grind and it's not something you're going to be done with in the first day so I'm very excited about that. So just that was sort of like a little bit of a spoiler in the sense of that. And that's also why I'm making this video for you guys. So you kind of get the tips and tricks to the different professions and which approach I would do to these two professions that are here. And instead of what we were used to with the other ones where we just, again, buy all everything. And again, in those videos, that would also be like sort of a written one where you can go through all of it. Like I have with all the other professions, the other professions from the old ones is also on the channel if you're looking for some of these ones. But but this one is going to be the everything you need to know about the two professions and the other ones are going to be more specifically into the different steps where you are going to do so. But I'm also going to explain it sort of how you are going to go through it. I also do want to say before we head into the first one, there is a, a quest for it. So if you go into your adventures by pressing I right now on PC, uh, you can also go to the hub if you want to. There it is right over here. Uh, the adventure board, that's the same thing. Uh, but under a uh, quest, this is where you have to complete all of these. You might have other ones going in here, but they should be showing up. There's one with 16 steps and there's one with nine steps. The nine steps is the alchemy one and the martial art is the 16 one. It will take you through everything as well. So if you rather do that, you can just do that. And might you already do that? But I do want to, you know, go. F I feel like I can get a little bit of extra information in there. Uh, and I also had to, you know, on a search of different things. And I didn't think that everything was just straight up as uh, easy as I would think it was. But anyways, we're going to jump into the first one, which of again is going to be the alchemy. All right. So the alchemy stuff is over here. I may I stand right here because this is where you spawn in. So I just want to show you guys where you are. You can get stands and i'll show you guys that of the uh, crafting tables you can buy those and put you in your cornerstone on your club world i already have it on, on our club worlds so you can just use those if you want to you don't have to use this one but the npc that we use uh, or need is in this one as well the other one you can see the martial ones over there uh, but we'll go here over in the fishing area so if you go back here you can see that's where the hub is this is where the titled guy is and you go into the fishing area and you go down the stairs it's also where the fishing guy is they've set up shop down here here. And this is the NPC that we need, the cull right here, and this is where you are going to buy your stuff. And this is where the first trick comes in, where I'm kind of uh, sort of way you're going to have a little bit of an edge to it. I don't know, it's a little bit of a trick, I guess, but it's not something crazy in saying you'd be like, oh, I've, everybody knows this, right? But of course, you can buy your mana right here. This is also where you start getting your mana because you basically need mana to start getting mana, which is pretty uh, funny. But here's also the two crafting tables. Again, you can buy these two if you want to. But here every day you can buy 1000 mana, wild mana. So you can go ahead and start on this one. So of course, when you start doing that, you should of course start buying some of these mana. 
mana and maybe you also want to buy some of the maximum mana these are a little bit more expensive but it's only a weekly reset so yeah it's not very much as well i do want to show you guys before we head into the other ones there is an npc when you do the quest there is an npc over here that is also going to sell you some of it and there's a little guy running around as well he's right here this guy as well i bought maximum mana from him yesterday but i could buy him again for 10 flux each so maybe this is a daily reset as well this disappeared um I don't know what is it 100 going on because if i do go in here i know my big face is in the way but i'll show you guys as well if you see right here i only have a limit of 1800 and you might be wondering 1800 seems like kind of a, a lot or whatever but actually on my alt account where i did it as well some of them actually i'm over 2000 on my alt account and it's not because i maybe got more or stuff like that i think they're was a little bit of a bug in the beginning or something that had to be updated so it actually works because now i'm actually getting it i was stuck at 1400 and i was using more and stuff like that but it is working now so there might have been a little bit of a bug with it in the beginning but now i am getting more of these ones as well but they're not super uh, hard to get the maximum mana ones you can actually also get them out in the in the worlds when you are going around trying to get your wild mana you will also get some of these randomly drop as well so that's sort of that explained as well but first you of course you want to go get yourself that mana and this is where i am going to just going to stack up on the mana every single day and getting all these uh, mana as much and also the max mana ones uh, again you have a limit to so you do have to do a little bit every single day you can't just go crazy so over time you can just uh, you know get your max manas and then then stack up on the wild man or you can do it as like day by day sort of a daily thing where you're getting these as well because yes you can go out there and grind it out because you do get a buff where you then can get and get as much mana as you want and you can sort of but you are limited by your max manas uh, so again you can buy them from those places but you can also again be lucky and get some drops from these ones so technically you could grind it out in a week but you could well probably also do it uh, maybe faster or I would just take it slow with this ones as well. But you got yourself your mana, then it wants you to go right over here to the mystery one. And this is where it is going to get you the buffs. And this is where it gets a little bit more complicated, I would say, because it does not super clear on how you are going to get these buffs and stuff. Uh, the buff mana hunters, as they're called. Basically, these two buffs that are right here are eternal. Basically, these are never going to change. These are always going to be like this. But the first three uh, the buffs that are here are going to rotate every single week. So this week it's Candoria, it's also Fey, and it's also Neon City biomes that it is gonna next week is gonna rotate maybe neon city but is gonna be back who knows but it it's gonna definitely rotate every single week that also means you can get get your different buffs we'll talk about that in the lab in a little bit but that's what it's gonna do and i didn't know that understand that in the beginning where was the mana hunters and this is where the mana hunters is so you can go ahead and make one of these it's gonna cost you robotic salvage or it's gonna be uh, the enchanted wood or it's going to be the wild cupcakes and that's gonna change every single week so it's gonna be a different it's always gonna be the hundred wild mana but it's going to change with the uh either it's cupcakes or it's going to be enchanted wood or it's going to be robotic salvage and all these of course you can get from the marketplace so you can go for them as much as you want in these but the wild mana is what is going to keep you kind of uh time get it with this one as well you can of course go with these buffs as well but they are a lot more expensive on the wild mana the same thing with the uh the one for icebound as well but you want to of course get 50 of these and you can just go slowly over time that's what i'm going to do i'm just gonna you know buff myself up a little bit once in a while and then get it so i you know don't uh, max out on my mana and then get them as much mana as i can get and then slowly slowly just progress and just exponentially get more and more and more and go so forth but that's the basic the point and that's what you are going to get and this is going to rotate every single week it's sort of a, a very important in the beginning because we do have the uh of course the buffs right here you can also see it in the new effects tab that is right here so if you go to your character screen right here there's stats that's usually what we have right here but then we also have the effects and here you can also see where you're hunting and where you are getting your you can get to extra mana as well so just wanted to show you guys as well if you could kind of like uh because you can't if you put up your thing you can't really hover them up here to see what they actually do so you do actually need to go in here and you think you see it because maybe you forgot which ones, because they all have the same icon when you do the zone biome buff right here. So over here, we got the alchemist lab right over here. And this is where you are going to be a little bit important on the different biomes and such, because next you do want to get, you know, one of these with the alchemist 
uh, inside right here. You get one of these. They're very cheap, but they don't last very long. But you use this one, and then you go into, and then you go into the lab where you can now get the alchemist inside. As you need this one, and it doesn't cost very much. And you can craft this one, and you can put it into your new auto slot. So you put it down here. This is where also your food is still going, but you know it's also where you put these alchemist ones. So you put this one in, and then there will be a fourth item up here. This is just because if you craft some stuff, you get some crystallized mana fragments and when you get enough you can get a bunch of uh, you know mana back wild mana back a thousand back there and this one is also a bigger one so if you get 10 of these it's just going to increase uh, this one with of course uh, a, t a thousand <laughs> oh, I couldn't say a thousand but yeah each of them gave a hundred so it doesn't matter this one is going to give you a thousand so basically you need 10 to do the same thing as this one but it's just if you have a lot of them I guess then you can like if you just get a ton a ton of these and then it's clicking every single one this just be a little bit annoying so if you said like let's say you have a hundred mana mixers then it, you know it's just easier to make 10 of them and then you know use those 10 instead of clicking a hundred times but there will be a new little buff uh, one here that looks like a recipe and that is going to unlock these potions and these potions basically what they do is just boost your mana gain in these different biomes so if i did you know right now i have the candoria one so if i made a candoria uh you know potion which is going to cost you some wild mana it's going to cost you a bottle you will get even more in that biome from you do get you can get it from candoria enemies but if you are in that biome as well you get even more so you want to farm in those areas those zones and Kandor of course candoria every monster in candoria is a candoria monster but doing it with that and the same thing goes with the fey and this one goes with the neon city and there's of course there is jungle that is of course the jungle biome then we got of course the peaks that is the uh let me see the uh, yeah the dragonfire peaks that's what it's called yeah and then of course you got fey you got the desert you of course you got the highlands medieval highlands and then of course you got the spires as well which is the fey, the forbidden spires then you of course you got permafrost you got the cursed you got the sundering and then there is some other ones as well when you unlock these so if you go back here you can see you need to do this one as well and this one as well at some point to get the recipe so every single of these recipes are going to give you two mastery points that's the only thing you really need to do with these unless you want to really farm for the mana if you really want to grind it out you definitely want to make some of these potions here so you get even more in those biome but as long as you just craft one of these you are going to get it you just get more if you craft the potion and consume that potion then you just get more so it's just a buff on top top of a buff so as long as you get this one so it, it basically you can start getting mana after you have a hundred and you have 10 robotic salvage or 10 enchanted wood or 10 wild cupcakes then you can start getting your mana and you can start side grinding it out but again you have a limit on right now for me to 1800 and then over time it's going to be more and more you can grind more and more of these and then basically exponentially you're going to get faster and faster and faster but you can do a little bit of you know stacking up a little bit now but getting some of these getting some of the max manas getting from the other npcs as well so that's basically what you want to do with it so there's not really any bigger point with it, but the point is just to get the different biomes at least. Maybe you want to save these other ones down here because they are uh, tied into the different steps here. They are a little bit more uh, hard to get, but it's only to 200 and you only need to get 50 of these. So you need to get 50 of these, 50 of these, 50 of these, and 50 of these, and then you are at 200. And then you're basically done with getting all the mastery out of this profession here as well. And then, of course, you want to get the mastery from this one. So you do want to craft them once and then uh, get the potion. Of course, get the insight, get the potion recipe. So you have that unlock and getting those two extra, uh, you know, of course, uh, what's it called? Mastery points as well. There are some collectibles down here. They're, these are just mounts. And of course, maybe at some time you want to get these as well. As you probably saw, there's also a mana manual. And this one also is kind of nice. It does give you a hundred... Uh, mastery points which is really really nice but it doesn't give you wild mana which is kind of I would really love that it would give us wild mana instead of getting a crystallized this is a weekly tome this is not a weekly tome this is actually a repeatable one so I just realized that it's actually a repeatable one and not a weekly one so this one is uh, a lot better than I actually intendedly first saw because I thought it was a weekly one and I thought like 200 crystallized mana fragments uh, is kind of like crazy you know for a week right and getting these if it were 200 mana like wild mana i could see it being kind of cool for a week but again you'll probably get 200 faster than you would 
during a week so that would be kind of crazy but this one is actually a repeatable one so you should actually of course get this one but you can first get it at uh you know 150 so that's basically almost you know that's that's when you basically hear but of course it'll be easier for you to get from this one to the 200 and getting that all out of there but yeah it is a lot better than i intentionally or first saw it as i thought it was a weekly one and 200 crystallized mana fragments a week is pretty pretty weak <laughs> and it's not really worth it it does cost you a lot of wild mana as well and again you also need that much max mana uh, so before you can actually go that one and these ones are of course getting it from the different biomes uh, ones getting it from uh, as you can see to your top side this is from a drowned world and this is of course from the cursed skylands so though these are all the gym basically the specific gym uh, zones that are out there but yeah that was the, all there is with this profession here again i said it was a little bit more complicated than the other one so i'm sorry if i dragged it out a little bit longer than it should be but i just wanted to make sure you guys really knew how to go through every single again you can do the quest and you might already understand everything there is with it but the next one is not going to be as long so we are going to jump to the martial part right now all right, we are now at the martial part and you can see it right from the beginning. It's right over there, almost behind me. Well, kind of now it's behind me. <laughs> right over there, there is the training area. The hub is getting smaller. There is stuff everywhere. There's a camper right there. You know, there's a big training area over there. So maybe a new, new uh, hub update we probably need or need to change around some stuff. But over here, of course, we got the martial uh, arts uh, uh, profession as also the area as well i do want to say the tldr of this one is that uh doing good things is going to give you positive com comma and then the um basically doing bad stuff <laughs> sort of there's not really doing anything bad in trove but doing bad stuff in trove is going to give you negative uh, you know it's sort of a weird kind of thing i'll explain that in a bit why it, it everything you do in trove is kind of a good thing but uh, they do need to introduce you know uh, bad negative karma i was about to say bad karma but negative karma as well but that's what it's all about if i do go into the uh, altar this is the one you craft with and i can just show you right here you can see i did collect some positive karma today um, but you got negative karma and you got positive karma and that's going to be the thing you're going to use every single it is going to uh, be more and more what you need and going going forward you can see you need more and more for every single one of them but it is going, you can see I'm already in 42 and, you know, I started yesterday and haven't done anything today. So I will probably hit uh, 50 when I do get up to this one, which is sort of a little bit important to get 50 as soon as possible. You just need a week to do it uh, in, inside the week because there's something special you can craft that's going to give you more positive karma. Basically, you can get endless negative karma if you want to. Uh, but the positive karma is going to be a little bit harder. You can basically also grind positive karma, but it's going to be a little bit more difficult. If you could even say it's been a little bit more difficult. But let's take it just one step by step, which of course we are going to start with Daniel Sun. Uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> season four or five uh, of Copper Kai should be here soon, I hope. But here, of course, you can buy the different crafting tables, of course, down here, and you can buy a beginner incense, which you, which you need, and then the quality incense as well. The qu beginner incense is really, really nice. You can buy as much as you want of this, so there's no limit to that one, which is really, really nice. It's not for me that, you know, you have to get back more like we had to the other one, where you have to, but you can buy as many as you want, and it only costs you 100 flux and getting 100 of these, and you don't need that many of these but you need it for all the recipes and such so and the quality one is a little bit more important so with that said let's move on to the difference uh, to negative karma and positive karma so you can craft uh positive karma and negative in this one uh, the shrine here where you craft the positive karma but you can first do that when you get to level 50 so that's why i'm saying a little bit more i don't know how much you get out of this but you can only craft this once per week on the ptr server it was a thousand i'm pretty sure it's not a thousand um, it might be a hundred or so but you need the quality incense as we talked about before up here that's the one down here that's going to cost you a thousand but you do need to get 50 as i said before to get this one as well so the path of suffering that's where you are going to get your negative karma and this is where you can grind endlessly of this one because you need trophies you did need different trophies some trophies are a lot easier to get than other ones are and that's also why it gives different ones if you go to this one it's going to give you 75 but this soul is pretty hard to get 
And how are you gonna get the souls? That's why I made the video uh, not too long ago where I was talking about saving your trophies, but you can of course buy trophies on the marketplace with a search right here. You can see you can buy a bunch of trophies and you can go for whatever trophies you want. Uh, I bought some of these ones, so that's why I do have uh, quite a lot. If I go into here, I do have a quite a lot of negative karma because I bought a bunch of trophies to just get a head start on all of these ones. So I actually made some of these ones. Uh, so you should definitely get grinding on those trophies. You don't have to buy as many as I did as well. But then you go in here and you uh, break down the, what's it called, trophies again. Maybe I should just go ahead and buy some here. Uh, let me see, I can just buy, let me just buy this one. Uh, and we can go here and go into this one. I can see this is going to give me uh, first some compost for gardening, but it's also going to give me the soul. So I'm just going to go ahead and look like that one. It is in this one in the compost. It's pretty funny. It has this uh, kind of looking, but you can use it in also in your usually gardening compost. It works exactly the same. But then you can see now I have one of these souls and I have some essence and now I can craft one of these. So yeah, that was really not worth it. 5,000 for this one, but I just showing you guys for the video, but I'm going to go ahead and craft that. And now I got one more negative uh, karma as well. So you might be wondering now we know how we are going to get our negative karma. How are we going to get the positive karma? Well, that is basically just being a good Trovian. <laughs> you can get it uh, some from here. If you throw a chocolate in here in the water, you can get some of these. I would not recommend doing this one because you only get one every time you throw in this one. So yeah, a thousand for one. And I really don't think that's a good idea to do so because you can get something a lot easier because there is daily quests. You can get it from enemies as well. You can get it from enemies. just want to mention that for, but I think the best way to get them is just to, you know, go through this one. I can actually see, I can get another one right here. I didn't see this one uh, before. So I might, I might also get this one, but this one starts re removing the weeds. So when you buy this one, it's going to cost you 10,000 flux, but so you don't have to do them. You can also just go out there, kill enemies, and you are going to get positive karma from that. But uh, you are going to get a, I wouldn't say a lot from this one because you do also get a nice amount from the just doing the quest. But you basically go here and I'll show you right here on the screen, me actually kind of going, removing the weeds and then, you know, I'll get a positive karma from removing him and also going through the quest. And then the quest is going to give me 25 of these ones as well. And a little side tip bonus thing. This actually works uh, removing the weeds here. I'm pretty sure it still works because I could pick up weeds after I actually, uh, you know, was done with this one. So I think you can just go to the Forbidden Spires or the Cursed Valley. I think there's also some. So if you see though, some of those, it actually works towards the gardening batch. So I do have the maxed out gardening batch for harvesting, but you can actually get this to work. And I, I did it on my alt, but uh, you can see here, you have to get 15,000 plants harvested. And usually you plant a bunch of stuff for gardening. And I would still suggest you do that to complete all of this. But the point is, you can actually get this done with, uh, you know, picking up the weeds. So you can actually just go around without planting one single plant. You can actually harvest all of these ones as well. I think that was pretty cool that actually works with that. It might not work in the future. It might be something that was just a kind of a, you know, <laughs> maybe it was a bug, but who knows. But uh it's still it's working right now so it, i don't know if it was intentional or what it is but you can basically go around and do that as well but of course you're not going to get the planting thing if you don't that's not going to work with it as well but you can get it from this one and i'm just going to go ahead and buy this one and show you guys that there is uh you know something and then you have to build how long to create something great rift uh, something okay so let's try so this is going to give us 25 you can see somebody has uh, put up some uh, blocks right there so let me actually just start putting down some blocks and see if that actually works. It does work. So that is pretty awesome. So just putting down some blocks. So I need to put 25. So it's going to make a nice little area right here, a little platform. And we just need one more. And that's going to be in the middle because that looks great. And then that is actually 25. And actually, got, so it leveled me up because uh, I, I do get experience from this one. But the point is, uh, that's also going to give me 25, uh, you know, positive karma. So now I'm on. Uh, 59 of course i just uh, really have to to get that one so now i can just continue do, getting some of these so i do need eight of these so let me go ahead and craft uh eight of these and actually get to 50. so now i got to the second tier so now i can start getting some of these here i do well i might want to say there we go <laughs> it, it you just have to update it but i do want to go over here uh this one is just increasing the 
buffs and stuff like that is not really something uh, crazy but i can actually craft this one as well now so i should be able to get myself a quality one and see if i can, can actually craft this one. Oh, it's gonna give me a hundred hundred positive uh which is really really nice but it's only a weekly one but that's really nice just for this for a thousand i think that's a really really nice because again the positive karma is a little bit harder to get but again this is one of the easier i thought this again should, should have uh, or could have been the harder profession to actually understand and more time gated but the other one is actually more time gated than this one is as well and this guy also sells some stuff but this is really really cool you see something actually something all more actually uh opened up so let me actually see this one so i need to help fabio fe la fierso okay so <laughs> we do have to probably do something with this one but i'll see what that is uh, not not with you guys right now but now we do get this one so yeah i'm gonna go do that one but the positive now i can can continue on this one and probably unlock this pretty quickly as well there's some stuff down here that cost a nice amount of positive negative karma so i'm probably actually gonna get this one uh, usually i don't get the big profession things but uh, this one i might actually get because getting positive and negative comma is actually not that hard to do but yeah basically that's all there is with this one here these other uh professions here so i hope you guys enjoyed that i hope you guys found it very very helpful because that was what these videos are again there will be link down in the description or cards up here uh for showing you guys the profession step by step to go through uh them as, as efficient as you uh, could do so so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye